Thank you all for joining us today. My name is Annie and I'm an election expert with the Elections Group. Please be aware that we are recording this webinar and if you have any questions about the resources, we encourage you to follow up via email at support at electionsgroup.com. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca. I'm the Communications and Program Manager for the Elections Group. For those of you who may be joining us for the first time, the Elections Group is an election administration consulting firm. We partner with state and local election officials to implement new programs or improve processes for voters and stakeholders. We provide guidance, resources, and direct management support for jurisdictions. Our team is made up of former election officials and election experts from across the United States. We're pleased to have you all with us today for our next highlight of resources for the election administration community. Each week, we'll showcase resources from the Elections Group, paired with resources from other organizations in the election space. Every four weeks, we'll focus on a different topic, and we'll take a deeper dive into the resources available each week. This month, we will focus on election security, and this week, we are highlighting the Election Group's seven strategies for enhancing ballot dropbox security and the EAC's Quick Start Guide to Ballot Dropboxes. And we will get right into the resources. So first up, we have our seven strategies for enhancing ballot Dropbox security. Enhancing ballot Dropbox security is crucial for maintaining public confidence in elections and safeguarding the voting process. This guide from the Elections Group outlines seven key strategies to help election administrators ensure the integrity and safety of Dropboxes. These strategies include robust physical security measures, comprehensive monitoring, and well-trained ballot collection teams, all aimed at preventing tampering and other security threats. One critical recommendation is the use of drop boxes with built-in security features, such as locks, tamper evidence seals, and restricted openings that prevent unauthorized access. Regular inspections of drop boxes throughout the voting period help maintain these security measures and prevent any potential tampering. Additionally, ensuring ballot drop boxes are located in well-lit, high-traffic areas with existing security infrastructure, such as government buildings or locations with video surveillance, further minimize risk. Another important aspect is effective communication and collaboration with local law enforcement to ensure quick response to any incidents. Educating officers on election laws and security measures around drop boxes, along with regular engagement, ensures that law enforcement is prepared to assist in protecting these critical voting tools. Coupling this with transparent public communication, such as signage, noting surveillance, and legal consequences, deters interference and reassures voters. Finally, continuous monitoring of drop boxes, whether through 24 seven video surveillance or staffing during use ensures that any issues can be quickly addressed. Election administrators should invest in the right tools for ballot collection teams from protective equipment to incident reporting protocols in order to maintain a secure, well-organized process. Implementing these strategies can help build voter trust and ensure that ballot drop boxes remain secure and accessible for all voters. Download the guide and the checklist today to get started. Thanks, Rebecca. The EAC's Quick Start Guides are intended to familiarize local election officials with various topics they will likely encounter in election administration. The guides are a starting point to identify areas of concern and give officials a broad idea of factors they con should consider in approaching a given topic. The EAC's Quick Start Guide on Ballot Drop Boxes outlines essential steps for securely Im implementing them in your jurisdiction. It emphasizes the importance of understanding local laws and security requirements, including box placement in high traffic areas with surveillance and clear signage for voters. Regular retrieval schedules, tamper evidence seals, and a clear chain of custody process ensure a secure handling of ballots. Additionally, staff training on safety protocols and observer interactions is critical for maintaining transparency and trust in the voting process. Implementing these strategies enhances election integrity and voter confidence. We also wanted to highlight some examples in the wild of election offices across the country who are doing some really amazing work. Burlington County, New Jersey's website provides a solid model for explaining ballot drop box security to other election administrators because of a few key factors. 
The website lists the exact locations of the ballot drop boxes, providing clear information to voters and showing other administrators how, to tran how transparency helps build trust. The web page mentions key security measures such as 24-7 video surveillance and the secure design of the boxes themselves. This level of detail reassures voters and gives other administrators a checklist of security elements to include when communicating about drop boxes. It references compliance with state law, showing that the procedures follow legal requirements, which is crucial for election integrity and can serve as a model for other administrators to follow suit with their local laws. And finally, the page is written in a clear, straightforward manner, making it easy to understand, both for the general public and for voters learning how to effectively communicate with their own constituencies. By demonstrating how they've secured their drop boxes and complying with regulations, Burlington County sets a strong example for ensuring election integrity while providing transparent information. Kudos to Bur Burlington County, New Jersey, and keep up the great work. And that's a wrap for today. Thank you everyone for joining us and thank you Rebecca for a great discussion. Resources mentioned in today's discussion have been placed into the chat. As always, our inbox is open. If you have any additional questions, please email us at support at electionsgroup.com. Thank you and we'll see you next week.